Hello students, this is Vishal Sai here. Today we are going to learn about a very important concepts of the chapter HCF and LCM. This topic is applied and used from your primary standard, the chapter calculation techniques and then later on in higher education with various applications of the same. What is HCF? It's an abbreviation for HCF means highest common factor. Highest common factor, a factor means divisor. So that's the reason, another abbreviation for HCF, it is also called as GCD, which means greatest common device. Right. Next, we have LCM. What is LCM? It is lowest common multiple. Right. Now, I'll give you another way of knowing it in very simple words. What is HCF? Highest number that divides all the given numbers. I repeat, highest number that divides all the given number, that's a HCF. What is LCM? Smallest number divisible by all the given numbers. We we'll take an example. Now for example, if I say that I give you a number as say 4, 6, Okay, two numbers I take as 4 and 6. What is the HCF and LCM of these two numbers? What is the normal way of solving this question? I write 4, I write 6. Fine. Which number divides both the given numbers? Both the numbers are divisible by 2. They are even. So divide by 2, I get 2. 2 is a 4, 2, 3 is a 6. Now, which number divides both 2 and 3? Nothing. Other than 1. Right? Every number is divisible by 1. So there is nothing else. Therefore, 2 is the HCF. Then I continue. 2, 1s are 2, 3 written as it is. 3, 1s are 3, this 1 and 3. So now here... The HCF is 2, the circle, and LCM is multiplying all the factors. That is 2 into 4, 4, 3, so 12. That's the way, normal method of finding the HCF and LCM. We got HCF as 2, we got LCM as 12. As I said, what is HCF? The highest number that is dividing both the numbers. What is LCM? I'll show it another way. Like for example, if I talk about that 4, what is the table of 4? 4, 4 to the 8, 4 to the 12, 4 to the 16, 4 to the 20, and it, I'll write here 4, 6 to 24, and it continues. What is the table of 6? 6, 6 to the 12, 6 3s are 18, 6 4s are 24, 6 5s are 30, 6 6 are 36, and it continues. Right? Now, which is the first number that is divisible by both of them? Or else, which is a multiple of both of them? 4, 8, 12, 16, 6, 12, 12, and 12. This is the LCM. The first number which is a multiple of both of them. Okay. That's one of the method of solving the question. We'll look into more methods later. This is the first part. Okay. Now, I've taken two values here. It is not necessary you have two values. You can have three values, four values also. Now, if I take for example a second one. If I take the value as say 25, say 40, and I take, say, 60. 
I give it a three numbers. What is the HCF and LCM of these three numbers? By this method, I write 25, I write 40, I write 60. Which number divides all of them? 25 is not even, so we know it's not divisible by 2. So now, we see all three of them are multiple of 5. So 5, 5 is a 25, 5, 8 is a 5, 12. 5 to 12 is this. So I got 5. Now, which number divides 5, 8 and 12? All three of them? Nothing. If I look at 8 and 12, both are divisible by 2. But not 5. So there is nothing common divisor for all three. Hence, again, we stop here. 5 is the LC. But for LCM, I will not take 5, 8 and 12. Why? Because I see 8 and 12, both are divisible by 2. So I continue. Let's say I remove 5. 5 ones are 5. 8 will remain as it is. 12 will remain as it is. Because it's not divisible by 5. Next. 8 and 12. Now 8 and 12, both are divisible by 2. 2 fours are 8. 2 six are 12. But then I also know that both the numbers are also divisible by 4. 4 twos are 4 threes are. So why should I waste my time in dividing by 2, then again dividing by 2? I can take directly here 4 1s are 4, 2s are 4, 3. I save time. Next, I divide by 2. 1, 2. This is 1. This is 3. Not divisible by MD. Next, I talk about 3, 1, 1, 1. Until I get all 1, 1, 1, we have to continue. So what we have the HCF as 5. LCM is 5 into 5 into 4 into 2 into 3. What is the LCM? 5 into 5, 25. 25 into 4, 100. 100 into 6. 2 into 3 is 6. That is 600. That's the HCF and LCM methodology that we need to remember. Right? This is the first method of finding HCF and LC. I'll take another example. This is the last example of practice. Then more concepts. If I give you a number as 8 and 9. Is 8 a prime number? What are prime numbers? Numbers which are divisible by 1 and itself only. No other number divides them. So we talk about 2. We talk about 3. 5, 7, they are prime numbers because they are not divisible by any other number other than 1 and themselves. We talk about 4, divisible by 2. We talk about 9, divisible by 3. We talk about 8, divisible by 2. Okay? So these two numbers are not prime. I have to find the HCF and LC of these two numbers. Which is a common divisor for 8 and 9? Nothing. Right? 8 is 2 into 2 into 2. 9 is 3 into 3. They don't have any common divisor. So, the HCF, again if I do it in a normal way, 8, 9, I'll see there is no common divisor. So, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 3. Do not do that. I'll write directly 8, 1, 9, 9, 1, 1. Not waste time. What is the HCF? I did not have any common divisor. So it is 1. Because every number is divisible by 1. So remember, when is the HCF 1? When there is a common divisor. What is the LCF? It is 8 into 9, 72. Okay? Now, such numbers which do not have any common divisors, they not necessarily be prime. But they are not prime. Such numbers are also called as co-prime. They are called as co-prime numbers or relatively prime numbers. Means to each other they are prime. Right? So what are co-prime numbers or relatively prime numbers? 
numbers which do not have any common divisor or else numbers whose HCF is 1. Okay, remember this. So 8 and 9 are co prime numbers. Co prime numbers. What are co prime numbers? Which do not have any common divisor or else the HCF is 1. Clear? Fine. Now, this is the normal way of solving the question. I'll give you another way of solving the question. Later on, you will be learning the chapter search and indices. Where we talk about powers of numbers. If you know that and if you know the powers of numbers well, then this method, this HCF LCM can be solved faster. Okay, how I'll show you. What you take HCF as, the new definition as for finding HCF is highest common power of all common prime factors. What is that CF? Highest common power of all common prime factors. You have to remember that it should be prime factors. Right? And I underlined common common two times. Remember this. What is LCA? It is highest power of all prime factors. I have not taken the word common common here. Okay? Highest power of all prime factors. We'll take the example. I'll take the same example. We have 4 and 6. The so same thing if I have for 4 and 6, we have to find HCF and LCM. How do I do? What is 4? 2 into 2. That is 2 into 2 is written as 2 square. Next, we have 6, which is 2 multiplied by 3 or 2 into 3, which is don't have any power as such. So 2 raised to 1 and 3 raised to 1. So, what is HCF? HCF is highest common common power of all common prime factors. So, which is the common prime factor? 2 is here, 2 is here. So, 2 is the common one. What is the highest power of 2 here? 2 raised to 1. Here, 2 squared. So, HCF is 2 raised to 1. It's not the highest power, it should be highest common power. So 2 raised to 1 and 2, what is common? 1 is common. Next, LCM. What is LCM? Highest power of all prime factors. So which are the prime factors? Here it is 2, here it is 2. What is the highest power? 2 square into here. 3 raised to 1 is there. There, there is no 3, but still I'll take. It is 3 raised to 1. So HCF is 2. LCM is 2 square is 4, 4, 3, 12. This is the same answer. Okay? This is another method. This method, if you know powers and numbers, you can do orally. Now, second one. I'll take the same example. 25, 40, 60. You have to be fast in calculation. You should know powers and numbers. I say you should know powers and numbers of 2 till 2 raised to 12. Powers of 3, powers of 4, powers of 5, till raised to 6. That will help you. If you know it like A, B, C, D, then you will be doing your calculations faster orally. Here, what is 25? 25 is 5 square. What is 40? It is 5 into 8. What is 8? What is 8? 2 into 4. That is 2 into 2 into 2. I'm showing it, I'm telling you, and going slow so that everyone understands. So it is 2 into 2 into 2, that is 3 times 2, that is 2 cube into 5. Right? Next, 60. What is 60? It is 12 5, sir. What is 12? 3 into 4. Right? I'll show you here. I can write this as 60 as 12 into 5. What is 12? 
3 into 4 into 5. Next, what is 4? It is 2 square. So it becomes 2 square into 3 into 5. That is 4 into 3 into 5. Because it has 16. Now, what is that CF? Here what we have? Only 5. Here, 5. So here only 5. So 5, 5, 5 would take. What is the power? 5 is to 1. 5 is to 1. 5 squares. What is common? 5 is to 1. That's it. LCM. What numbers we have is, if we talk about, we'll go with the lowest, 2. 2 is here. 2 square is here. There is no 2 here. Here is 2 cube is here. So I'll write as 2 cube into 3 is to 1. No 3, no 3. So 3 is to 1. 5 square, 5 is to 1, 5 is to 1. So I'll take 5 square. That's another way of solving HCF LCM, which you can do orally. You will not require pen and paper. Use this. Okay. There are some methods, some te techniques which I'm going to share with you all are not there in the books. Okay. So please remember that. Okay, And save the video for future. This will be helpful to you when you're going to do your revision. Okay? The two methods I've given you for HCF and LCM. Later on the higher level, you have questions on algebraic functions. When the values are given in terms of x raised to 5, x square or x plus y raised to 2 I have to find HCF and LCM or those algebraic expressions we use this method ok this method is faster ok not that we have to differentiate and you have to solve it further simplify it in the you can use this method to do it faster ok we will go forward for this ok so I told you the two methods of finding the HCF and LCM next Coming to the application, different ways the questions are asked. Now, if you talk about HCF and LCM for two numbers, what you should remember is for two numbers, let's say I take the numbers as N1 and N2, then product of two numbers I'm giving the definition is equal to product of their HCF and LCF. This is the definition that you should know. The product of two numbers is equal to the product of HCF and LCF. Fine. What are two numbers here? I have taken them as n1 and n2. If I take them as two numbers as n1 and n2, then n1 to n2 would be equal to hcf multiplied by this. You get direct equations on this. Fine. I will take the example. We have two numbers you have taken here. I will go back here. 4 and 6. So if I take the numbers as 4 and 6, what is the product? 4 into 6? 24. What is the HCF of 4 and 6? 2. What is the LCM? 12. What is 2 into 12? 24. So what you got? Example for numbers N1 equal to 4 N2 equal to 6 What we got as 4 into 6 is equal to 2 into 2. You should remember this. The product of two numbers is equal to HCF into LCM. See here. Example 3. Two numbers are 8 and 9. What is the product? 8 into 9, 72. What is the HCF? 1. LCM? 72. So, this is so that's the way you get questions. Maybe they are given you two numbers, they are given you the HCF, they are asking you to find the LCM. Or else, they have given you the HCF and LCM, they have given one of the number, they are asking you to find the other number. Right. There are more difficulty levels of the question, which I will show you as we go forward. So this is something, this is a very basic thing that you should remember. 
in order to solve questions faster. In the chapter number system, I have even shared with you the divisibility test of numbers. How to know whether a given number is divisible by 2, divisible by 3, divisible by 4, divisible by 5 and everything. That method helps you in solving these questions faster. You will not waste time. Okay? Now, I will share about questions on when two numbers are given on XF and LCM, how the different ways of questions can be asked to you. We will look into it now. Now, let's say that I, uh, I have two numbers. I am not giving you the numbers and I am giving you the SCF and LCM. You have to find the possible cases of getting those numbers. Say, if I say that for two numbers, HCF is 2 and LCM is 12. Find the possible pairs of numbers. Find the possible pairs of numbers. How to go about it? I'll explain the concept. I go back to the previous example. If I just take an example as say I have two numbers as 15 and I have a second number as 20. Find the XF and LCM of these two numbers. Normal way, 15, 20, both the numbers are divisible by 5, 3 is a 5, 4 is a, right? So, then 3, 1, 4, 4, 1, 1. What we see here, first I divide by 5, I got 15 and 20, when I divide by 5, I got 3 and 4. Then 3 and 4 are not dividing number, we say that, this is the HCF, right? Then we have 3 and then we have 4 which are relatively prime numbers. So, what we do is here, what is the HCF? We write it as 5. What is the LCM? We have 5 into 3 into 4. Clear? Yeah. Make a note here. HCF is 5. I have circled that. We are taking the LCM. That 5 is included in the LCM. Right? 5 is included in the LCM. And what are 3 and 4? 3 is only 15. 4 is the number of which divides only 20. So if I talk about the numbers, what is my N1? It is 5 into 3. What is my N2? It is 5 into only 5, 5 is common. 3 and 4 not common. What is 5? It is HCF. It is HCF. What is 3 and 5? They are relatively prime. So I say, this is R1, this is R2. Okay? I just give it as operation R1, R2. Now come to LCM. What is LCM? It is 5, which is HCF. And it's multiplied by 3, which is R1, and multiplied by 2, which is R2. So LCM is this. This is the concept you have to use in this. That for any two numbers, we are talking about two or more numbers, HCF is common to all, and then they will have some relatively prime factors. Right? Now, coming back to our question which has been given here, what is the HCF told to us? As 2. What is the LCM told to us? As 12. And they said for two numbers. What do we know? For two numbers? For two numbers, N1 into N2 is always equal to HCF into LCM. What is N1? We don't know. Right? What is N2? We don't know. But what we know, N1 can be written as HCF into R1. What is N2 can be written as HCF into R2. What is LCM written as? HCF into R1 into R2. Right? That's the way we got. But in this question, we have been given HCF and LCM. 
So I'll cut this out. I'll cut this out. What is the HCF? 2. What is the LCM? 12. This side, I have R1 into R2 and HCF is to be multiplied twice. So it is 2 into 2, 2 into 12. I got R1 into R2 as, as 2 into 12 divided by 2 into 2. Cancel, cancel. 2, 6. I got it as 6. We got R1 and R2 as 6. Now, I'll continue this here. We got as R1 and R2 as 6. So, we have to look at which are the two relatively prime numbers which will give R1 to R2 as 6. Do remember, they should be relatively prime. They should not have a, any common value. Because if they have a common value, common divisor or common multiple, then the HCF will change. Right? So, what is 6? Two numbers are multiplied, this is 6. Obviously, we can say 1 into 6. Right? Second number, we can also say 6 into 1, but it's a pair, so we'll say 1 and 6. But if there's an ordered pair, that means A, comma B and B, comma A are different. When we say ordered pair. Here they say, Pairs. So we'll say 1 comma 6 or 6 comma 1 is same. Right? So here 1 comma 6, which other number divides 2 or divides 6? It is 2 into 3 and also 3 into 2. No other numbers possible. Therefore, what is our n1 value and what is our n2 value that we need to find? So first pair is how to multiply. What is n1? HCF into R1. What is n2? HCF into R2. What is the HCF? We know it's 2. What is R1? 1. 2 into 6. So, what are the two numbers possible? First case, 2 into 1 is 2 and 2 into 12. 2 is 6 is 12. So, two numbers are 2 comma 12. Second case, we have HCF is 2 multiply by 2. Right? Multiply by 2. And then HCF is 2 multiplied by 3. We get 3. So what are possible cases? 4 and 6. This is the next level of questions that we get. We are to find orders pair possible or number of pairs possible for a given HCF and LCF. Okay. I can even, I could even give it a question as if HCF and LCF are 2 and 12 and if one of the number is 4. What is the other number? I will apply this formula. N1 into N2 should be HCF into LCM. So one of the number is given as 4. HCF and LCM is given as 2 and 12. That is 24. 24 divided by 4. We get 6 as the next number. Okay? This is the next type of question that we get. Right? So HCF and LCM, this is most often asked. Hence I have done it in the continuous group. Now, there are two levels of questions which are asked in the examinations. Arithmetic, where it is calculation based. Second, algebra, where you have word problems. How? We'll see it here. First part. Two by three plus four by five plus one by six. What is the answer? How do I solve it? Okay, how to solve it? One is we convert to decimals, but best way is I take the LCM of the denominator to make the denominator same in all of them. I'll show you step by step. What we look at is LCM of three, five, and six. What is LCM of three, five, and six? I can do it orally. 3 is a prime number. 5 is a prime number. 6 is 2 into 3. 3 only one power is there. 3. So answer is 5 into 2 into 3. That is 30. Right? Normal way. 3, 5, 6. 
divide by 3, 3 1s are 3, 5 as it is, 6 is by 2s are, then 5, 1, 1, 2, then 2, 1, 1, 1, okay, so our LCM is 3 into 5 into 2, that is 15 into 2, that is 30, so we've got LCM is 30, so I have been given the numbers as 2 by 3, plus 4 by 5 plus 1 by 6. I need to make the denominator of all of them 30. So, what should I multiply 3 with to make it 30? Multiply by 10. So, I multiply 3 by 10. Value should not change. So, I multiply and divide by 10. So, what does this become? 3 into 10, right, divided by 30. Next, what should 5 be multiplied to make it 30? 6, multiply by 6, I get as 4 into 6, plus, what should 6 be multiplied? So, multiplied by 5, I multiply by 5, I get as 1 into 5, right, 1 into 5. So finally, what we get it as? 3 into 10 is 30, plus 4 into 6 is 24, plus 1 to 5 is 5, divide by 30. I get it as 30 plus 24 is 54, 54 plus 5, 59 by 30 is the answer. Okay? You may get questions into converting into mixed fraction which you have done in the chapter number system. When I divide by 30, 59 minus 30 is 29. So answer is 129 by 30. Okay? That's the way we get questions. We have more questions on calculation techniques that we have a separate chapter for the same. But what you should remember is when you're doing calculations, you're finding the LCM. Remember this? Copy it down and practice it. That's what is very important. Okay? Now, word problems. Let's say that a school goes for a picnic. Fine? And in the picnic, there are three divisions for the students. In class A, there are 24 students. Class B, there are 30 students and class C, there are say 42 students. Right? Now teachers have to be allocated the students in groups. So what they decide that all the groups will have same number of students. All the groups will have same number of students and the students cannot be mixed. Means, class A students will be only among class A, class B will be only among class B, class C will be only among class C. So, how many divisions can be made and how many representatives from the faculty side will be required for the groups? So, how many students in a group? That's the question. We are talking about the highest possible group size of the number of students without mixing the students. Fine. What did I use the word? Highest. Whenever the word highest is used, largest is used, highest common, largest common, then it is LCF. Remember that. Fine. It's LCF. So for 24, 30, 42, you have to find the LCF. Now, all three numbers are divisible by, we can say 2, we can say 3, but I say directly, they are divisible by 6. I am saving time. 6, 4 is 24, 6, 5 is 30, 6, 7 is 42. So, 6 is the HCF. Therefore, students have to be divided into groups of 6, 6, 6 in each group. That's the answer.
highest possible group size that is 6. So HCF is 6. So I will write group size. The highest possible group, common group size will be 6. Now, I ask you the next question as number of teachers which are required as represented for each group. How many groups are there? How many groups are there? We know a group of 6. But here, 24. How many groups of 6 are there? 4 groups. Because what is 4 into 6? 24. How many groups for 30 students? Group 30? 5 into 6. 7 into 6. Therefore, number of groups or number of group representatives that is required is going to be 4 plus 5 plus 7. That is 16. That's the next type of question that you get. So remember, whenever they ask the highest possible, greatest possible, largest possible common value that is HCF. Okay? Now, next type of question is on LCM word problem. Let's say in an area there are three different temples. In, and all three temples they have their own schedule of you know, prayers and ringing the bell. Fine? So, if I say that at 6 a.m. all three temple bells start ringing. Okay. 6 a.m. all of them are tan tan tan. Okay. Now the question is in temple 1 prayers or puja okay puja jo hoti hai wo prayers is is taking place after every 3 hours in temple 2 prayers takes place after every 6 hours and in temple 3 the prayer takes place after every 8 hours in first temple after every 3 hours second temple after every 6 hours and temple 3 after 8 hours. The question is, on a given particular day, if the bell starts ringing, uh, ringing, that means what time the first, all three will ring? Turn what time? At 6 a.m. When will all three ring together again? All three ring together again. Because the temple one will ring after 6 hours. So it is ringing at 6 a.m. The next time at 9 a.m. Temple 2, it rings at 6 hours. So it is ringing at 6 a.m. Then it will ring at 12 p.m. Temple 3 is after every 8 hours. So that means it has 2 p.m. Right? 6 plus 8 is 14. So 12 plus 2, 2 p.m. What I want to know, what a question is asking, when will all three ring together again? So what I do here? I have to find the common multiple of all of them. That is the LCM. First time, least common, lowest common means LCM. Minimum means LCM. Minimum common means LCM. So, we will find the LCM of 3, 6 and 8. All 3 are divisible by nothing. 6 and 8 are even, so I will divide by 2, 3 will remain as it is, 3 is a 4 is a. Next, 3, 3, 4 means 3, 1, 1, 4. And I can take 4 directly, 4, 1, 1, 1. So what is the LCM we got? LCM as 2 into 3 into 4. That is 6 into 4, that is 24. So, 24 hours, that is after 24 hours, they will ring together again. So, from 6 a.m., 24 hours means, one day is of how many hours? 24 hours, right? Therefore, all three will be ringing again after 24 hours, means 
6 a.m. next day. That's the type of question you get in work problem. The questions can be asked in different forms. But what you should remember is whenever they're asking the highest common, largest common, greatest common, that means HCF, whether they ask you least common, uh, lowest common, first common value, then it is LC. Right? This, those kind of questions, how the word problems are asked, and even calculation techniques, we'll do it as a separate exercise session. Okay? HCF and LC, very important, is also required for the higher chapters like search indices, required for logarithm and many others. Have a nice day.